Action News begins right now with breaking news. Four people had to be taken to the hospital after their house caught fire early this morning. A teenage boy was forced to jump out of a second story window to safely escape. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is working to uncover new details right now. Kim, how's everyone doing this morning? Well, as you said, four people had to be taken to the hospital. I'm live outside this house on Euclid Street where the fire happened. If you want to take a look at it, you can see the fire is out and investigators are here right now trying to figure out what happened. Now, the homeowner, she is a grandma and she says she was inside this house with her fiance and her daughter and her two grandchildren, two boys, one a newborn, one a 13 year old. Her daughter woke up to go check on the baby and that may have saved their lives because she realized that there was a fire in the kitchen. She started yelling fire. Everyone started trying to get out, but they soon realized the 13, the 13 year old was stuck in an upstairs bedroom. All I, I woke up hearing somebody hollering, you know, streaming the jump and all that. There's a fire and all that. And I just came, got up and I heard him, you know, I come through the living room. I heard him out there hollering. And that 13 year old ended up having to jump from that window. He landed on a fence next to the house, so he suffered some scrapes and bruises. He was taken to the hospital not only for that, but also for smoke inhalation, also taken to the hospital. That baby that's only days old, the baby's mom and a neighbor who rushed over to help try get everyone out. All of them with smoke inhalation, but they're all expected to be OK. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. That is a scary situation, it especially really for the baby. Is. I know, right? I'm glad the teenager is going to be all right as well. Thank you very much.